Right now at 5, a Lyft driver's vehicle was used to lead police on a chase before it slammed into a car lot. Tonight, that Lyft driver opened up to our Taylor Lumpkin about the terrifying carjacking and seeing her vehicle destroyed live on social media. Crews are still working to clean up the scene here on 76th and Villard, where a 17 year old crashed after leading Milwaukee officers on a high speed chase. And now the owner of the vehicle that police say the teen soul is speaking out. This is not funny. What is wrong with these young people? Pamela Watkins had only been a Lyft driver for a couple of months when she picked up a teen who requested to be dropped off at Marshall High School. He was very engaged, very polite, so I didn't think anything of it. But as soon as Watkins arrived at the school, he pulled his right hand out of his jacket with a gun, and he said, ma'am, you're going to have to get out of your truck. Watkins grabbed her phone and her purse and took off. The next day, she saw a Facebook Live of young people on a chase with police. She says the teens were inside her stolen car. I'm like, they really enjoy my truck. They think this is a joke because they're on a high speed chase. Video shows the aftermath of that chase when police say the driver blew through a red light and crashed into several other cars. I was in so much disbelief, I couldn't even get my thoughts together. Whoa, hearing people in that area saying a young girl was ejected from my back window. The 17 year old was arrested and taken to a local hospital mm, along with two girls inside the stolen vehicle. Now Watkins is seeking justice mm. and has a message for the teens. It's not a video game. This is real life. And you may not live to tell the story or you might not even live to go back home to your family. According to the Milwaukee District Attorney's Office, charges are pending against the teen. In Milwaukee, Taylor Lumpkin, TMJ4 News.